is that you centre your customers within Xero. To do this, go to Settings, General Settings, Invoice Branding. There is two formats that can be used. There, you can use the standard theme, which will be default in Xero, or you can create your new branding theme. To do to create a new one, we simply click here. We can give it a name, new invoice template. This allows you to basically create a few different templates depending on customers. So you may have some cash customers or customers on account. You can have different templates set up with different payment terms down the bottom. Options that you can then put in is to show your logo. You can tick that or untick that. You definitely want to be showing your tax number, which is your ABN. Then there's other things to, to display or not to display, such as unit, quantity, price, etc. There's the option to enter in a PayPal email address so that you can receive payments through PayPal. To have down the bottom of your invoice, you may want customers to pay you via direct bank deposit. So you can enter in your payment details. So your bank account name, BSB, and account number. You can also give um, additional instructions such as please email remittances to You can also then enter in the default contact details as Xero records quite a lot of additional information that you don't want to display on your invoices. So you can then have your address. Once this is done, you can save it. And your new invoice template you have just created is shown. You will then want to upload your logo. So click on Upload Logo, browse for your file and upload. Other alternative is that Xero has a docx creation of invoices. So instead of just clicking on the plus, click on the arrow and select custom doc docx theme. This will then ask you to put a new title in for your branding theme. Click OK. And this will appear down the bottom. You will then select download and it will automatically download a zip file which contains a copy of each of the .docx templates. Once this is downloaded, you can then open this up in Word and the default tax invoice will look like this. You can then come along and insert your logo yourself. and resize it to fit onto the screen if it's a bit too big. So you can see these, if you're familiar with templates, you can see a lot of these fields are then automatic fields which will populate the data from zero directly in. You won't want to um, put in extra text in these as it can then cause errors. This then creates it as a default template. You can then down the bottom, you can insert details about your payment details, payments. You can change colors and fonts. Then all you need to do is save the file, come back into zero, click on upload.
browse for your file. And then upload. And that is all that is needed to be done to create your own custom invoices in Xero.